I'm hoping after watching this video, you stop using weld. I'm going to show you why. Weld is used to join things together when they're touching or overlapping. So in the example of this word, right here, where that black line is, that's where these letters are overlapping or touching. So if I click on this word and go to combine and select weld, it removes those cut lines in between the letters. So now this will cut as one word. You're thinking, that's great, Sean. Why would I want to stop doing that? Here is why you're going to stop using weld. There's a better function now. And not that many people are talking about it. So I have another word stop with those same letters overlapping. This time when I go to combine, I'm going to click on unite. You can see it does the exact same thing as weld. So why should you use unite instead of weld? Here's why. When I click on this welded text, I can't do anything to it. If I decided I don't like the lettering or the font, I'm stuck with it. But on the one that's united, you can go back under combine and undo the unite. And then I could change the font. After I find the font that I like better, I can click on it again and use Unite to join those pieces together. After I made the original video, I did have somebody ask me, well, can't you still unweld as long as you haven't done a save? So I wanted to show that process. If I click this word stop and use combine, and weld. If I do not hit save, I can click on this and click undo. Sometimes that goes really quick. Sometimes you might find that starts lagging and you get that green bar coming up here. That green bar will come up either when design space is being slow or if your, your design has too much detail and the Cricut software has to think. So again, I would still use Unite because then I can come back and go undo Unite. So Unite, Weld, and yes, right now it's going pretty quick, but I just restarted my computer. <laughs> But now let's weld and save. If I undo, no, it still did it. Okay, still did it. So it does still work. You technically still can undo on a weld, but I don't know how long after a save that's going to really turn off. So why not just get used to using Unite? Yeah, I actually think I want the S and T closer together in this. So let's 
undo the Unite. And I can even ungroup these letters so I can move them around a little bit. So I'm hoping that you see now that using the Unite button instead of Weld gives you so many more options. Once you have your layers connected together, you can go back under Combine and you can even tell it to merge the layers. So now that everything's merged together, it's more like Weld where you can't do anything. But as long as you don't merge those layers together, you can still edit this, change the font, and play around with things. I hope you learned something new by watching this video because I love to teach people how to use Cricut Design Space. That's kind of the reason I created my whole Teach Me Cricut Design Space series. For less than the price of your morning coffee, you can purchase my Learning the Lingo mini course. And in that course, just like I did with this video, I'm going to walk you through over 20 of the most commonly used terms in Cricut Design Space. Once you're done with this course, you're going to understand what all of them mean. And I show you how to do this on the computer and on my iPad. If you're using the mobile app on your phone, it's going to look basically the same as the iPad, only smaller. So if you're ready to finally learn to understand all of that cricket lingo, head over to seanmosh.com, click on classes, and let me help you get started with learning the lingo. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I love to hear from you.